A close call. Just as handlers protect their dogs, the dogs watch out for their handlers. Staff Sergeant Robert Brown knows that well. He and his dog, Nero, were patrolling a field in Iraq in 2006. Suddenly, the canine detected a bomb. He managed to alert Brown just before an enemy exploded it. Nero and Staff Sergeant Robert Brown. Although some shrapnel from the bomb still struck Sergeant Brown in the head and leg, he recovered from his injuries. The handler praised Nero for saving his life. He believed he might have been killed if Nero hadn't warned him of the danger. It could have been a lot worse for us, Brown said. A bomb-sniffing dog can detect odors up to 100 times better than a human can. War dogs, such as Chucky, left, save many lives by detecting bombs before they explode. A painful loss. Not all war dog stories end happily. In 2010, Private First Class Colton Rusk was shot when his Marine unit came under heavy fire in Afghanistan. His dog, Eli, bravely crawled onto his body to protect him. Although Colton died from his wounds, the Marines saw what a loyal canine partner Eli was. Private First Class Colton Rusk with his dog, Eli. Colton's family suffered a terrible loss. Military officials wanted to help ease their pain. In 2011, they released Eli from the Marines so he could live with the Rusks in Texas. When the dog arrived, Colton's mother said she felt as if part of her 20-year-old son had been returned to her. In the past, all retired MWDs had to be put to sleep. It was believed the animals were too aggressive and hard to handle to become household pets. In 2000, however, a law was passed that allows people to adopt the dogs after they retire. Colton's younger brother, Brady, gets a kiss from Eli after the dog returned from Afghanistan and was adopted by Colton's family. The Future for War Dogs Today, about 2,700 MWDs serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. The demand for the life-saving dogs has grown in recent years. Before the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, about 200 dogs were trained at Lackland Air Force Base each year. Today, the number is well over 500. In 2011, about 600 MWDs served in Afghanistan and Iraq. More than 2,000 dogs were on other U.S. military bases around the world. Robbie, a Belgian Malinois, and senior airman William Bailey serve in Iraq. In 2011, a Belgian Malinois named Cairo played an important role in the takedown of the terrorist Osama bin Laden. The MWD assisted U.S. Navy SEALs in Pakistan as they approached and entered bin Laden's compound. The successful raid was another reminder that war dogs are one of America's best military weapons. A U.S. soldier in Afghanistan relaxes with his dog, Tsar. More about dogs.